Mike and Mary Young and Mark and Krista John talked to a throng of reporters on Sunday. It was all because the four were riding on a trail near Moorhead Lake on Wednesday morning when they spotted two hikers, who they later learned were suspected kidnapper James DiMaggio and missing teen Hannah Anderson. They were just like a, a square peg going into a round hole. They didn't fit. Mark is a retired Jim County Sheriff. He and the others say their interactions with the pair were brief, but strange. She she did appear frightened, but I thought it was a fear of the horse that she DiMaggio claimed they were headed to the Salmon River, but they were going in the wrong direction. Also, Mike said most people they meet on the trail are friendly, but these two clearly didn't want to talk. She was trying to turn her face away, and then, and then when we went up the trail a little ways, I turned around and told these guys that there was something wrong there. This wasn't right. When the riders came back down the trail later and passed DiMaggio and Anderson's campsite, they tried to joke with Hannah about dipping her feet in the water. And that's when Hannah uttered a cryptic message. She said, looks like we're all in trouble now, or we're in real trouble now. And then we rode on out. When Mark was watching the news Thursday night and saw a report on Hannah, he put the pieces together. When uh, we got, I seen that picture on the screen, I told my wife, I said, that is the girl that was up on that mountain. Mark contacted a former deputy of his who now works with the Idaho State Police. He got the process moving. The FBI talked to these witnesses, got that vital information, and less than two days later, the news broke that Hannah was back in safe hands. And I was on uh, watching the news, and he was coming up on the four-wheeler, and I was just jumping up, and I was going like this, and he was looking at me, I, you know. So we were relieved that she's okay.